All right, hello, it's Leah. This is a bit of a sombering vlog, but it's something um, that I really wanted to do, being that I was in Oklahoma. Um, I'm a, since I was a kid, I've been fascinated with tornadoes. I know it's a weird thing, but weather and tornadoes are fascinating to me. So uh, this last year, really started reading and watching Storm Chasers, which was a Discovery Channel show, and learning about Tim Samaras, who um, invented what was called a turtle that he would drop in places in hopes of the tornado hitting uh, his turtle so that he could get um, the barometric pressure that happens in the midst of a tornado. Um, unfortunately, uh, here in El Reno, Oklahoma, Tim Samaras, his son Paul Samaras, and Carl Young uh, were taken by the largest tornado ever on record, which was 2.6 miles wide uh, here in El Reno, Tex er, Oklahoma. And we are at the memorial. The memorial is at the site where they found Tim's car. It's a, a bit of a tragic story, particularly um, they were saving on gas, so they weren't in their usual large truck that they usually did their storm chasing. They happened to be, I want to say it was like a Ford Escort, or it was a smaller car, and um, they believe that the this was a rain-wrapped tornado, so it was really difficult to see, and being so large, you couldn't really tell if it was clouds or if that was the actual tornado. It's, it's, if you're interested in that stuff, it's fascinating, but unfortunately, it was also, the tornado itself was wrapped by um, these, you know, sort of wild vortices that were circling around the actual tornado, and one of the vortices um, caught the three of them in this car at uh, the corner of Reuters and Radio, which you can see if you can see the stop sign. Uh, one of the vortices through the car. They've tracked the vortice to have had 300 mile an hour winds and it threw the car to this location that the actual <clears throat> wonderful site that they've allowed to put here in El Reno, Oklahoma. As you can see, uh, they have the three crosses for the three of them and people leave kind of little goodies, not necessarily as junk, but uh, just there's kind of like little pieces of, uh, Tim was, you know, into all these electronical gadgets, so people leave gadgets. I've heard that even he loved uh, McDonald's cheeseburgers, so sometimes people leave a cheeseburger. There's a couple of pairs of tennis shoes, there must be something to that. And as you can see, people leave their different license plates here. I should have thought a little bit more because I could have put an Arizona one here. I can't take the one off of the I can't take the one off the whale right now. People leave their hats. But then let me show you the actual. So what I was showing you is they have rocks spelling out um, Paul Samaras, Tim Samaras, and Carl Young. Um, and there's something to this also that after they passed, um, all of the the storm chasers um, went to locations, so they spelled this out. Uh, I don't know the proper verbiage, but they spelled it out so that the trackers spelled out a PS, a TS, and a CY, and they were throughout like uh, North Dakota, South Dakota. It's really cool if you're interested in that sort of thing. Um, they all put their trackers so that it spelled out their names. And then here is the sun's shining on it. It's a, it's a nice day. It's warm. Here is the actual memorial. Um, it explains that TwistX was a project, and what it um, actually stands for is Tactical Weather Instrumental Sampling in Near Tornadoes Experiment. So that's what TwistX 
signified. And like I said, they were on the show um, Storm Chasers on Discovery. Not the first season. I think the, the last season's... I'm not sure why Tim wasn't on the first season. And then they have this beautiful, beautiful memorial with the three of them. And just... Uh, so Paul was... Tim's only son. He had two older daughters. Paul was born in 1988. <clears throat> Same day as his dad. Paul Samaras was born on November 12th and so was Tim in 1957. And then Carl Young, who's, you know, kind of young California type guy, you know. He was born in 68. And just a couple more things I'll show you that uh, so Paul was doing the photography and he was getting it says he was getting a degree in animation and then um, Tim had a 35-year career in electronics engineering and has the world's record for measuring the lowest pressure drop inside of a tornado uh, and then uh, for my uh, new wave Alternative fans says here that Carl, I love that this is on here, says he enjoyed hiking, water skiing, Italian westerns, Depeche Mode concerts, hiking, dancing, videography, photography, music, and a world traveler. It says that uh, he met Tim in 2003 and he drove the chase vehicle or was the navigator. He was, a meteor he was the onboard meteorologist. So, just, uh, I've been so interested in this story and, and how much they did for science to, to gain more details. Their, their goal was to warn people sooner, to be able to find ways to warn the communities, these small rural communities, to have more time before a tornado hits. So, um just it the whole thing has been sort of struck me for a long time so here we were in Oklahoma and I really appreciate that Marky Mark didn't mind driving all the way here and I'll show you a couple other things um real quick here <laughs> they have different drinks he must have been a Red Bull drink I see a couple of Red Bulls um, but uh, if you look at this red vehicle, if you know about storm chasing, that would be the Dominator, which Reed Timmer uh, pilots. He's still chasing storms. It's 10 years later. Yeah, it's uh, 10 years since um, Twist X was taken. But that's the Dominator for sure. And then I think somebody welded a tornado here looks like to me lighters and change we left some change so this is our little mini vlog of something that's um, special and to me being interested in tornadoes and storm chasing and what people do to help others and the spirit of science so what I will say is rest in peace to Paul, Tim, and Carl. And I'm glad I was able to, I don't know you, but to, it was, your story has affected many. So rest in peace.